Hello friends, my name is Cassie and it has been so so long since I posted on this channel I think it's been like six months since I filmed anything, but I'm back today I don't want to make a terribly long intro. I just want to kind of talk to you Sorry, the composition just changed you guys were really close to my face. Also, sorry if you hear a bunch of people talking in the background I live at college. Okay, I have this leather jacket. I wear it quite a bit It's pleather. It's not real leather and I got it when I was in eighth grade and I got it at Nordstrom I was shopping with my friend Lauren. Lauren's one of the most fashionable people I know to this day but at the time I really looked up to her fashion sense and I like to go shopping with her because I always trusted her taste I was shopping with Lauren and I saw this leather jacket at Nordstrom in the teen section and I really liked it and it was different from everything else that I typically wore when I was in eighth grade I dressed pretty girly and I wore like Hollister things American Eagle things I didn't really have the sense of style that I've developed now of course no one in eighth grade does but when I found this leather jacket I thought it was super cool the only problem was it was $40. I had an allowance and I always saved my allowance but I've always just had like a certain hesitation with spending money and it's kind of bizarre because my family has always had enough money to get all the things that we needed and I feel very fortunate for that but for some reason I personally any money that I've had I always just have like this giant hesitation to actually spend it. But when I found this leather jacket, I really liked it. And I was like, Lauren, should I buy this jacket? Like it's $40. That's way more than I would ever spend in a day of shopping at a bunch of different stores, much less on one single item of clothing at one store. And she was like, it's really cute. I really like it. And of course I trusted Lauren. But what I did is I put it on hold and I was like, okay, I'm going to talk to my mom about it. And maybe I'll come back tomorrow and get it. And I thought about it a lot. And for some reason, I felt like it was something that was like really important for me to have. This weird pleather jacket with these little buttons on the on the shoulders. Obviously, I went back the next day and I paid $40. I purchased this leather jacket and I hardly wore it. When I first got it, I wore it a couple times, but it was kind of sad because I always looked at it in my closet and I was like, gosh, I shouldn't have bought that. Like that was $40. It sat in my closet for most of eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade. 11th grade, but then my senior year rolled around. I went through a breakup, which you all have heard so much about. I picked up my leather jacket one day afterwards when I was feeling unlike myself and I put it on and it made me feel really powerful. Leather jackets have like the classic biker gang association. I don't know if that's bad for me to say, but like that for me, it's a motorcycle jacket. Like a leather jacket is a motorcycle jacket. I'm not a motorcycle rider. I'm actually a pretty girly dresser. I'm wearing an old navy dress right now, but this leather jacket made me feel really good in my time of feeling like I lost myself. And I didn't start wearing black clothes all the time and riding a motorcycle and staying out late and being a rule breaker, but my leather jacket brought me a lot of power. I really went through a lot this time last year when I rediscovered my love for my leather jacket and this jacket is something that I reach for a lot now. I don't really have any associations with it. It's just something comfortable. One time I wore this to driver's ed and I put a pen in it and it's been there ever since. I also have a PLU pen. I go to Pacific Lutheran University by the way. I have a pen in the pocket and I bought it with Lauren and I wore it last fall for the first time in a long time. It's something that I wear a lot now. I think the point of all this is lately especially having just moved to college and I'll link my vlog channel down below because I've made a couple videos about how my transition has been and if you have any questions definitely let me know I've been thinking about doing a Q&A so let me know if that would be interesting with my transition to college my routines are not the same as they used to be and I'm not doing all of the same things that I used to be doing and I feel like I just need to create like I feel a need to start something dive into a project a creative project and I'm really excited for vlogmas to happen because it always comes right when I need a creative project but I have like a month and a week before vlogmas comes I really really for some reason want to start a blog I don't think that I will because I want to start like a real blog not just like a internet hosted blog but like a self hosted blog that you can make income off of and that has a lot of customizing features to do something like that I would have to invest a couple hundred dollars and I'm having a lot of hesitation with that again not because I haven't saved that money but just because I have this intense hesitation over it and so I was thinking about my leather jacket and I was thinking about how I want to start a blog and there's a part of me that's like yes you should dive right in and do it but that part of me that's hesitant is still like 
but what if you stop being interested in it? But I wasn't interested in this jacket at first. Somewhere along the road, I found it and it brought me a lot of individuality and sense of self. I feel like I need to start a project that will bring me that sort of sense of self. Not because I'm feeling particularly sad lately, but just because I feel like I need a little bit of a a magic creative boost. I really want to start making more content on YouTube. I kind of haven't for a while. I think that that's where I'm going to start. I'm not going to probably spend a lot of money in the near future. I'm a college student and I have my thoughts on the future a lot, but living in the now is very important and I'm thinking about making a video all about that. I'm going to live in the now. I'm gonna make a lot of content on this channel and on my vlog channel. I'm gonna wear my leather jacket. I'm gonna put it on get some symbolism going here. Sometimes it's kind of awkward for me to get it on. Oh yeah, that is my leather jacket story. <laughs> I guess the point of this is get ready for more content from me. I'm ready to create and dive head in. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what kinds of videos you want to see. If you watched any of my happiness workshop videos, definitely leave me a comment and let me know which one you watched or if you watched a lot, which one was your favorite. Sometimes you need to buy the leather jacket. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.